Today I'm going to show you how to clean and fuel strip your Beretta 96 and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. First off, I'd like to thank my pastor Chris once again for loaning us this gun to do videos with. So now what we're going to do is a cleaning video with it because I need to get it cleaned up and get it back to him. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take it over to the table, show you how to field strip it, clean it, and then we'll finish it up at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that we're at the table, the first thing we're going to do is show clear on this. So we're going to open this up here. You can see nothing in the chamber. No magazine in the gun. This gun is safe to handle. We will decock that here. Now on all the bread 92 and 96s, you got this button right here on this side. Then you got this lever right here to pull down on the other side. You just push that button, pull that lever down, and then your slide pulls forward. And we take that off here. Now to continue field stripping, you got this spring and recoil spring guide rod. I hold my hand over it and I push forward and up with my thumb and pull that out. And then you got your recoil spring and guide rod right there. And then to get the barrel out, you got this little button here, push that in. And I use my fingers from up underneath and push up on it and separate the barrel. And that's all there is a field strip in it. Now today we're going to try out this Professor Pew CLP that was sent out to me. This gun was clean before I shot it and I only put about 70-80 rounds through it because that's all I had of 40 that I reload for. So we're just going to do a quick clean like this. It shouldn't be that dirty. So we're going to try this out and the first thing I like to do is I like spraying some down the barrel and letting this sit while we're using it. Make sure it's dripping out there like it is. And I just like letting that sit and break in, break everything up that's inside of there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the rails with this on both sides of the slide and then where they make contact here just a couple little squirts on there magazine well right here you get some goop and a little bit in there and I'm gonna let this sit for a minute so it breaks down all that carbon and goo and get it nice and broken up now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the frame here and start wiping it down I just got an old t-shirt here I got cut up I'm just gonna wipe all this down on here get this cleaned up and all wiped off it hasn't had many rounds through it so there's no real big need to go through a detail cleaning i might grab one q-tip here and take it to the rails and that'll probably be about all i do to this because it's not that gunked up like i showed in my bread and 92s video of cleaning if this was real gunked up you would take a brush a nylon brush and knock all that carbon off after a set for a while no need to on this one so let's go to the next step. Now just to show you guys real quick that it wasn't that dirty, I'm going to put a Q-tip here real quick. Just wipe those down real quick. And you can see it's not really that dirty because I didn't put many rounds through it. I'm going to get this cleaned up and we'll move to the slide. Now once again on the slide here, what we're going to concentrate on is the rails. And then right down in this channel right here, you can see there's a couple channels right down in here. You want to clean up in those. Once again, I'm just going to wipe it down real quick with this old t-shirt rag. And then what I'm going to do after that, after I get that all cleaned up, I'm just going to grab a q-tip here and go down the rails here. Clean those out. You can see the rails are a little bit more dirty on these. But we want to get those cleaned out. Go to this other side here and show you how dirty this gets there. And there you go. You can see it gets kind of dirty there. And then another one I want to do is these channels right here. Go in there. Get those cleaned out. You can see those get pretty dirty here. Get those all nice and cleaned out. And then another area I want to work on is the breech face right here. Get my camera to focus where the firing pin comes out. Now what I'm going to do is I usually do it upside down and just wipe it off like that because you don't want nothing getting into that channel and even though I didn't spray it with no cleaner or anything look at how much gunk's coming off of that so I'm going to finish this slide up here and then we'll move on to the barrel something real quick here too you also want to get underneath the extractor this one ain't that bad but if it is you can get a brush underneath there and move it that's only if it's really dirty though this one wasn't that dirty so I'm not too worried about it 
All right, the barrel on the inside of this don't look that bad. Like I said, I cleaned it when I got it, and we only put 70, 80 rounds through it, so it wasn't that much in there. But I would take my brush here and run this through as many times as it takes to get that barrel cleaned out. So I'll finish up doing this, and then I'll be right back with the next step. Now, after running the bore brush through it as many times as you need to, next thing I do is I put a jig on with a cleaning patch, run that through there, and you can see this thing is filthy, so I'm going to run this through quite a few times until we get rid of all that gunk. This may take a bunch of times, and it may only take a few times. I'm not going to waste your guys' time watching me do this, but that's what you do, and I'll be back when I'm done with this. This was the last patch I ran through. You can see there's barely anything on it. I'm just going to reuse this one real quick. Run it back through again one more time. And you can see here, it's just a little bit dirty on there. But that was after four patches, so that shows you how quick it cleaned up after using that Professor Pew stuff on it. Had to make sure that's what it was called. It was the first time I used it. We'll run it through again just to make sure. And we'll get this cleaned up, and we'll be right back. Now we got the barrel all cleaned up, I'm just going to take my old cut up shirt here. This has got some of that CPLP on it. I'm just going to wipe this down here. Clean this all up and get it nice and clean looking. Make sure around the feed ramp and everything is pretty clean. We can see some marks there. Get that cleaned up there. It looks like those might be stubborn. I might have to get my nylon brush out to get it perfectly clean. You can see a little spot right there. But besides that, you can see the feed ramp is nice and shiny, and everything else is nice and clean in here. So we'll move on to the next thing. Now for the recoil spring and guide rod, I don't put nothing on these. What I do is just a quick wipe down on the rod. Don't need nothing special on it. I don't like spraying stuff on there because to me, if you get oil on it, this is one place for dirt and debris to gather. Wipe down this real quick. This is a different piece of shirt, so it don't have no CLP on it. And then I just put it back on. So the next thing we gotta do is put this thing back together. Now to put this back together, take your slide and flip it upside down. Take your barrel, slide that down in there. Make sure it gets locked in where it should be. Take your recoil spring and guide rod, stick it into the end right there. Push it forward. I always like holding my thumb up on it just in case I don't get it in the spot right. Once you get it in the spot right, it'll sit there just like that. Then we're going to take it here, slide it over the rails, lock that back here, and then flip this lever back over. And then we're going to drop the slide, function check it right here. You can see that everything's working. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a rag that had the CLP on it, and I'm going to wipe this all down. And that's everything you need to field strip and clean your Breda 96. Now, like I say in all my cleaning videos, this is how I clean a gun. Not everybody does it the same way. That's fine. Everybody does stuff different. This is the way I clean it, and this is what I'm showing you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on how to field strip and clean your Beretta 96. I would like to thank my Pastor Chris once again for sending this gun out to the channel. And I also would like to say that Professor Pew, that cleaner I used right now, I just wiped that all down. I didn't even put nothing in the rails. And I just want to tell you guys right now, this thing still feels smooth as butter. Even though I let that set on there and wiped it down, I didn't put no oil on this or anything. And it is still buttery smooth. Chris, this thing is cleaned up and all ready for you to run it. So as always, don't forget to check the links out down below. Down there, I'll have links to Axle Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other companies I like dealing with. These are affiliate accounts and they do help out the channel to afford to buy ammo, cleaner, and a bunch of other stuff I need to do these kind of videos. Some have got discount codes to save you guys money. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God. And I'll see you all on the next one.